نحمد و نسلی علی رسول الکریم اعوذ بالله من الشیطان الرجیم بسم الله الرحمن الرحیم رب شرح لی صدری و یسر لی امری و احلل اقدتم من لسانی یفقه قولی و جعل لی وزیر من اخلی اللہم فکہنا فی الدین آمین سم آمین السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ سورت القاریہ بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم القاریعت The root word is قاف را عین قارعہ means a startling sound an explosive noise or a rattling noise Al-Qariya is the name used for the day of resurrection in Quran and as it would be translated a striking calamity Al-Qari'atu Mal-Qari'a Ma means it is an interrogative word meaning what Al-Qari'a what is the striking uh, the striking calamity wama adraka wa and ma what adraka adra it means to know to understand to come or to relate something adraka kapsaburka is a pronoun and it is a pronoun for the second person masculine singular adraka you know ma adraka waka and what will you know ma malqariya what is the striking calamity now what is the striking calamity in the next verse allah says yawma the day yaqunu they will be anasu anasu is what the people the mankind what will be the people like kal farashil mabthuth when there is kaf sabr ka before a word the kaf sabr ka means what like similar to or example al farash the root word is fa ra sheen which means what the floor the ground and al farash here means actually the dead moths will be which will be scattered around on the ground or on the floor and what will be these dead moths like al mabthus ba tha tha means to spread to scatter so the the dead moths will be kal farashil mabsus means that they will be like what like the dead moths which will be scattered wa and takunu there will be al jibalu Jim Balam Jabal means the mountain and Jibal is the plural for mountains Al Jibalu all the mountains will be what Kal Ihnil Mafush Kaf Sabr Ka again means what they will be like they will be similar to Ihn means the wool and what will be the wool like Al Mafush Nun Fa Shin Nafasha means to fluff up to blow up or to swell up or to be bloated so they will be what the mountains will be like wool fluffed up blown up and spreading out like or blowing up like all the balls of wool this will be what the mountains will be like fa amma then as for man who whose the person who saqulat fa qaf lam 
Thakula means something which is heavy. And in Arabic, we say something is saqeel. It means that it is what? It is extremely heavy. So saqeel is the superlative adjective for uh, something being very heavy. So here, saqulat will be heavy. Mawazinuhu. Mawazin is one part and who is the pronoun for the masculine singular third person mawazin the root word is waw za noon vasana means the weight and mawazin means the scales which are used for weighing so mawazin who will mean will uh, will mean what his scales now repeating the verse fa amma and then as for man whose sakulat heavy will be mawazinuhu his scales fahuwa then he will be where fi in aishati raziya aisha aisha means something which is a luxury which is a comfort so aish aish means luxuries and comforts which comforts ishatir razia ra zwad ya something which makes happy something which gives pleasure something which is enjoyable and something which is pleasant so the person whose scales will be heavy will be where fa huwa fi ishatir razia then that person will be where fa huwa then he will be in luxuries and comforts which will be very pleasurable and which will be very enjoyable and which will be very pleasant wa amma and as for man whose khafat khafa ya means something which is light which is not very heavy it is exactly opposite to sakala khafi is something which is light khafat light are what mawazi nuhu so who is what a pronoun and mawazi is what his scales so now repeat the whole verse wa amma but as far or as for a person whose light are his scales where will he be fa ummuhu fa means what thus or then ummu means the mother his mother pas his place will be what his residence will be what his ummu his place his residence his abode will be what haviyatun haviyatun is the name of a pit of hell fire so the person whose scales will be light the scales of the good deeds will be light his abode his residence his place of staying will be a pit of the hell fire that is havia wa ma adraka and what would you know and what would you comprehend and what would you understand ma hiya ma means what hiya what it is and what is it narun hamiyatun narun is what it is a noun and it is a common noun because there you see two page on the ra narun it is a fire it is not annar if it had been annar it would have been a proper noun but it is narun and what is the adjective and what is the quality of that fire hamiyatun ha mim wow means hot or to heat up a thing hamiyatun is what it is a superlative adjective explaining that the narun will be intensely hot allahumma ajirna min an-nar allahumma ajirna min an-nar allahumma ajirna min an-nar ربنا لا تزع قلوبنا بعد اس هديتنا وهب لنا من لدنك الرحمه انك انت الوهاب